Hello. Okay, so uh, today iTunes 12.3 is out, and today I will be doing the ringtone on it, and I'll show you guys how to make a ringtone using iTunes 12.3. But I have one request from you. So if this if this video works for you, just make sure that you like my page on Facebook. Okay. So that's one thing I want you to do for me. So I guarantee you guys that this video will work for you. All right. So just follow the steps and you'll have your right tone in your phone. All right. So let's get started. So what you'll have to do is just right click on desktop and click on personalize. And then click on themes on the left and then click on desktop icon settings and then check this box where it says control panel and then click on apply and then OK and then close this window alright so that's the first step so the second step is to open control panel so just double click on the control panel on desktop and then from here uh, click on file explorer options right here once you click on file explorer options click on view and then uncheck the box where it says hide extensions for known file types so just uncheck that click on apply and then OK and then close this uh, control panel alright so once we do that we are ready to open iTunes so just double click on iTunes and um, once iTunes is open I want you to click on your iPhone which will appear over here so just one click on that uh, make sure make make sure that you have a backup of, of your uh, phone so I'll just make a backup now so I'll just one click on that oh it's always good to have a backup of your phone you know just in case if you um, you know if you lose some data so you can uh, restore it you know yep so just leave it like one minute and yep is backup is ready so I'll keep it like that for now and then I'll scroll it and I will uh, put a check mark by sync only check songs and videos so just one check that and then make sure that uh, this manually manage review music and videos is also checked okay and then click on apply all right. Once you click on apply, go and click on this music thing right here. Okay. Once you click on that music uh, icon, go and click on this plus. I don't know. Let me just make it smaller so you can see it better. Yeah. Let me just make this smaller and move it up. Yeah. So uh, just one click on this plus and then click on new playlist now name anything you know I'm gonna name my my ringtones okay once I put a name on it I'll just click somewhere and from here I will just drag and drop the mp3 file that I would like to make it a ringtone so in this case I have let me see yeah I have this uh, song so I'll just drag it and drop it here yeah once you drag and drop it you know it might change the background color I don't know it's the new uh, iTunes so what I'll have to do is I'll just right click on this file and then I'll go to the fourth option which is get info once you click on get info go and click on options and then make sure that uh, this one is zero 
so zero, yeah, three zeros, and the stop is 26. So what does this mean is that our ringtone will start from the beginning of the song, and it will end at the 26 seconds. So you can make yours like 10, and uh, you know make a stop at 40 seconds. Uh, yeah, so that's something that you'll have to choose. But um, make sure that it's less than 20 se seconds because if it's more, it might not work properly. So now I'll click on OK. Once I click on OK, I'll just right click on the file again. But this time I'll go and click on Create AAC version. If you don't have the create AAC version what we'll have to do is just press the alt key down on the keyboard just one time once you do that you'll have this uh, menu and go and click on edit go to preferences and from here click on import settings and from the first uh, option go and make sure that you choose AAC encoder and then press OK and OK again. So now you should be able to right click on it and create AAC version. Alright, so I'm just going to click on create AAC version and you'll hear that uh, blip probably and you may not but from here, what you'll have to do is go and open your documents and then click on music, items, items media, music, and then open all these folders. So yeah, till you get to this menu, I mean to this file, I'm sorry. Yeah, so once you have this uh, file, this is our uh, file that we'll uh, be using it, but it's not ready yet. So all we'll have to do is just right click on it and rename it. So click on rename. I'll name it ringtone one. Ringtone one, but there is a period dot m4a. Okay, it's m4a now, but I'll change it to m4r. So I'll just change the last letter. I'll make it R. So instead of M4A, I just made it M4R. And now I'll be, I'll just click somewhere, and then I'll have this message. So just click on yes, and this is your ringtone actually. So now you're ready to transfer it. So open iTunes, um, click on these three dots. Can you see here? And then go in the list and click on tunes. Yeah, once you click on tunes, just drag and drop this M4R file that we've made. So I'll just drop it here. So just drag and drop. And once you drag and drop it here, we'll just uh, drag it and drop it towards the left side. So I'll just drag it a little bit. And as you see, as I drag it, I see my uh, device. So this is my device name. So I'm just going to drop it there. And as you see, it's updating files on my iPhone. So now, if I go and check my iPhone, the ringtone is in there. So just give me a minute. I want to prove it to you that I have the ringtone, all right? So, uh, yeah, so there it is. Can you hear it? I don't know, for some reason. Yeah, anyway, it's on my phone, but I don't know, for one, for some reason, I don't hear it. Yeah, can you hear it? Anyway, that's a bad song. I don't like it. Anyway, yeah, so 
Uh, this is how you create uh, the ringtone using iTunes 12.3. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for being patient with me. And uh, as I requested in the beginning of the video, uh, please like my page on Facebook and I'll appreciate that. Um, thank you so much and I'll do my best if you have any questions just um, you know ask me on Facebook and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.